Good morning, WestCon. Senior student meteorologist Eric Galf here with the Wednesday morning forecast to update. And it's certainly been a cold one out there. In fact, earlier this morning, we reached a low of 32 degrees, the freezing mark. That's the first time that has happened this season. So it really gives an idea on how cold of an air mass we are in right now. But at least we have a lot of sunshine in the area. Just a few clouds dotting the area. Our temperatures warmed up quite nicely at 46 degrees. We're already a bit gusty with southwest winds at 12 miles per hour, gusting to about 21 miles per hour. So we'll stay unseasonably chilly, at least for the next few days to come. But then by Friday, let's say, a nice warm up is going to be on tap, getting to more seasonable levels in the lower 60s, I think. And amongst all this, the great silver lining is that we are going to be remaining dry for the next few days to come, maybe except for later Sunday. I'll get to more details on that in my extended forecast. So we got a lot of sunshine in the area for now. We got a big area of sprawling low pressure across the Great Lakes region, giving a lot of clouds and even some lake effect snow showers and uh, regular showers. I'll show that in one of the radar loops. So I, I do think some of this cloud cover is gonna work its way in for the afternoon hours. So we'll see a few afternoon cumulus clouds around the area. Uh, for that time. Then uh, some of this cloud cover melts away for the nighttime hours, so we'll be clear. And then this area of dry air will be moving in for Thursday, giving us wall to wall sunshine for that day, but still unseasonably chilly air. But then this area of high pressure to our south and west will be moving in on Friday and giving us dry and warmer conditions uh, for that time heading into Saturday. Now, I do want to show this radar loop. Look at this. Some of these uh, Lake effect snow showers and regular snow showers across much of the area thanks to that broad area of low pressure and cold air over the warm Great Lakes, so that's certainly noteworthy. In fact, in the northern panhandle of Michigan, they saw well over a foot of snow in many locations in recent times, so definitely uh, quite the sight to behold, but that's not the case for our area. Again, to our west of Pennsylvania and New York, there's been some snow showers with that cold air, but I don't think no, I know we're not going to see any of that for the next few days. We'll just be remaining dry. So with this excellent weather in place, especially heading into the weekend, I think this is really a great time to witness the cavalcade of fall colors that are really beginning to take shape across the northeast with plenty of areas of high color and uh, moderate color. Danbury over, oh, excuse me, high color with Danbury over here being in moderate color. So yes, the colors are really starting to filter and make sure you take advantage of it with the really nice weather we're going to have for the upcoming weekend. But we'll come back to today, about 53 degrees, so that's very chilly for this time of year, about 10 degrees below average. We'll get about a, gust, a gusty wind out of the southwest at around 20 miles per hour. And then tonight, clear, calm, great night for radiational cooling, with temperatures dropping into the mid-30s, I think, with patchy frost possible, especially heading towards sunrise. And then uh, Thursday, will be about 55 degrees with a slight uh, breeze throughout the day. And then uh, warming up for Friday, 61 degrees, that's seasonable for this time of year. And again, plentiful sunshine on Sunday, temperatures in the mid 60s, and then some increasing clouds later on Sunday as an area of low pressure from the south moves closer to the region. I don't think we're gonna get any precipitation uh, during then, but certainly we could probably see some Sunday night. We'll keep an eye on that and keep you detailed as we get closer to that day. Don't forget to follow us on social media. I'm senior student meteorologist Eric Galf. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.